everyone abhishek here and welcome back to another video and today we are talking about note taking and a new note taking tool that i wrote recently and we'll be exploring all of the features so it's called tdo we'll be taking a look at its installation and then its usage we'll also take a look at tdo.nvim which is a helper plugin that I wrote for NeoVim and if you use NeoVim I highly recommend that you set up tdo.nvim with tdo as well. So why another note taking system first of all? My main reason for setting this up was to have a simple note taking system that doesn't have a ton of features it simply lets me write notes and then later retrieve them. So that's the whole purpose of T2. Um, it doesn't have a, a ton of features like linking, image support and all of that. It's a very simple and fast note taking system. And I've been using it uh, for almost two to three months. Uh, and after that, I recently decided to release it as a public repo. So yeah, let's jump straight into setup. Uh, you can go through the readme later on and read the features and stuff. But for setup, these are the things that you'll need. So you'll need ripgrep and FCF, bat if you want syntax highlighting. And for macOS users, you'll need uh, core utils package installed, which I've already done. So let's jump into setup. Now we are on the terminal and we are in the tdo directory and as you can see I have it cloned already. So first thing we'll need to do we'll have to run the install script. So just do dot slash install dot sh and it should set up all of your templates, uh, your env variables and everything. All you have to do after this is reload your cell config. So I have set it to an alias but uh, you basically need to run the command that is dropped by install.sh so yep let's run it we are done with the setup um, and all we need to do is simply run tdo and as you can see it opened up today's to do right and if you check the path it is set to your node directory so right now we have to do and you have this nice structure so year month and then file name and you'll have three root directories uh, four including templates so right now we have to do uh, for journal entries it will create a entries folder and for notes there will be a notes folder so let's change something over here and temporarily we'll say record uh, YouTube video right and here we can say edit and release right just temporarily um, you can set and this is by the way a template that uh, Tidu sets for you you can customize it according to your needs so if you want to take a look at the template you come to this directory and here you have the templates that will be used for each of the node categories okay so that was our main tdo command which lets you open today's to do and you can take a look at the usage if you want more info so this will tell you all the different options that tdo supports another thing that tdo can help you with is uh, with journal entries so if i just do tdo e or tdo entry it will open today's journal right so you can mark stuff as completed you can uh, write stuff so write whatever you want right and then every time you create a journal entry it will add some timestamp towards the bottom so let's say add here now if i open to do again so it adds a new uh, journal entry so you can actually use it while working throughout the day so that's entry you can also jump back and forward 
uh, with your entries and to do so something like to do one or minus one will give me the to do or daily notes from yesterday so since i did not have anything yesterday it uh, opened this but if i had anything it would actually open that so here you have today's note and this is yesterday's note uh, so you can do that and then you can also do the same thing with your um, entries so you can actually write future entries so let's say i want to write the entry for tomorrow um, and then for simple note taking all you need to do is you just start with your topic so let's say i want to record a uh, make a note on youtube right so i just typed to youtube it creates a, a youtube note under my notes category and as you can see now we have entries and to do as well so here i can write um record when it's quite out right so this is uh, another way you can manage your notes you can also categorize your notes so you can do something like text slash vim um you can do you can write your notes here you can save and then uh, if you go to your directory you can see that it has automatically categorized the so notes now has a tech folder and under that you have your vim note uh, it also has some more features like searching and navigating so let's say and if you can also do little custom notes by the way so if you just do to do n it will open a little custom note and it will save it in the drafts folder so you can do that too and let's say if i wanted to look at all of my pending to do like to to do t or to do to do so let's to do t and then these are all of my pending to do's across the board tdo also has search integration so if let's say i wanted to search for something like vim i just type it and then you'd see the file and then the preview on the right and hitting enter here would directly open up the file you can make changes and then you can close it and then this stays open you can actually uh, go back and forth uh, with multiple files um, another cool thing that you can do with tdo is uh, you have git integration so let's say if my notes directory which is this one uh, if this was under git version control tdo would automatically make commits after every change so let's do a init here and let's convert this into a notes repository right so now it's under git and now um, let's say i open today's to do and let's say we mark this one as completed and if i hit save if you jump back to your notes directory uh, you can actually see that it has committed your change with the timestamp and you can customize this timestamp based on your requirements by just jumping into the to do script it's a straightforward change and that's pretty much all that tdo has as i said it's a minimalistic note taking system the goal is to be as simple as possible while not missing out on functionality so now let's take a quick look at tdo.nvim and it's a helper plugin that works with tdo uh, and it kind of integrates tdo and neovim so uh, as you can see this is the installation i've already installed it on my neovim but it's pretty straightforward you'll also find all of the usages here um, and some of the extra things that tdo and vim offers which are missing in tdo is the tdo toggle command so you can toggle to do quickly and then the navigation with opening bracket t and closing bracket t so let's take a look at that so let's say i open up near vim um, and then i do to do right 
it opens up today's to do and then i can actually navigate uh, with these to do will bring on board and you can also do uh, toggle to do so for me i have bound it to n and then as you can see x here which is toggle to do so n x will actually cycle between to do's and then you have all the standard uh, key bindings so you have n f for all nodes and g for finding within nodes you can easily jump between yesterday's and tomorrow's to do you can create a new note commit notes so you can look at all your notes by hitting nf you can search between your notes by hitting ng um, and then just search for stuff and then for all incomplete to do's you have nt you can quickly cycle over those and yep yeah, that's pretty much all from this video do give it a try and if you find this useful drop a star and i'll see you in the next one bye